Namaskar. Hello everyone. I am Meera Vinit Kolkade. I am from Kerala, India. I am here uh, to recite a poem for Panorama International Literary Fest. So before I go on to recite my poem, I would like to give you my opinion about poetry and why is it so very needed in this present times. We all are passing through a very difficult time these days. And even before that, every human mind had faced its own repercussions for one reason or the other. Being a man or a woman, it just does not make much difference. So what is the significance of poetry? We all must have heard this famous statement, poetry and art goes hand in hand. And it is very essential that we leave something to our posterity. We know there are many megaliths. There are so many uh, arts and uh, engravings and rocks which tells the story about people who lived in the past. Poetry in recent times has the capacity to give and radiate information in very every direction in such a manner that it would be discussed in posterity. So poetry is essential to this world and to the coming world. But there is another thing that poetry and imagination gives you. It helps you fly out of time and makes you reach and go back to past and of course to fly along the future lines. Which will perhaps unite minds because people will start thinking about those experiences and they'll start developing it in their own way. In such a way there will be an empathy, there will be a connection from mind to mind which will become a chain. And this connection is essential as it will start to lead us towards peace and harmony, which is highly essential in this present world. Now, let's move on to the poetry. This poetry is titled Harbored Whisper. It's like a person sitting on the banks. He has got a boat and a row. It can be he or she, anyone. It is up to the readers to think who it is. They just do beer. So to take which direction. Every human mind has this issue. And many poets might have, of course, spoken about this particular issue. The thing is, suppose you think it's a woman who is sitting there. She has various other things to look forward to move before she makes a decision. So she is dubious here again. She has to decide to which direction she has to move. It should be correct. So somebody, a voice from near, like you, it's a human instinct, speaks to her, tells her that come on, you fix the direction and just go. Don't think about what comes in the way. Slowly, everything will come to you because nobody knows what sight you're going to see after you start growing. So this predicament of mind and that human instinct to find solution to your issues is something that is being discussed in this particular point. So let's start the point. Harbour Whisper when it hurts to lose your will, gazing the unawares from a shadowy world, the tiny ups and downs of the watery abode tells you the leaps you would make. There on the banks sits a breathing soul, half so dead, half in fearful awe. There is this one boat halted just for your sight, just to row to your heart's instincts. Jewel I mind. Can you surpass this laxity and make an unknown journey? Know you, this surely unsolved mystery is to dissolve in a venture that guides to horizon. Gradually, the wave of wind that usurped mind that sat on the bleak banks now disappears to darkness and a path is unraveled to the dubious. Just it had to fix the direction. Thank you.